Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to add some debugging tools. So, for example, we will add a function that when we click uh, we, uh, the player will change its speed to a lot faster, so we can much more easily get to certain places on the game if we want to test something. And also, let's add a button so we can increase the points or the score. So later on, if we have something happen, uh, something that will happen happen after after like certain amount of points, we can test it much more easily. And also, let's add some more little things. So yeah, let's get started. So first, we want to go to the PP third person character. Here on the graph, let's create another graph. Let's call it debug graph. Let's open it. And here, what we want to do, let's add a search for a key. And let's scroll down. And here, let's get a, actually, we can get any of these. And now from here, we want to click on this and select the button. So we, I want to use we for the speed. Thing. And now what we want to do next, we want to create a variable. Let's call this debug underscore speeding or something like that. Or maybe speed, I don't know. Let's add a add it to a category called debug. Now what we want to do, we want to get that debug speeding. And we want to check if it's not uh, not equal, not boolean, not boolean. Let's actually make this our favorite, like that. So if it's not true, let's add a branch. So if it's not true, what we want to do, we want to first set it to be true. Okay. After that, what we want to do is we want to get our character movement. We want to get max walk speed get max walk speed and we want to promote that to a variable and this will be called debug old speed or something like that and let's add it to the debug category also and let's actually move it a little bit further so it looks a little bit better okay now from the character movement we want to actually move it down like this and we want to Set max walk speed after this. And let's add a reroute to here so it looks better. And select this and press Q to align. So the speed that we want to set it will be, at least for me, it will be 1500. You can obviously use whatever way you want. But now we have a real little problem here. So I will show you. Let's compile, let's save all, let's leave this open here, but let's go to the purpose map. And now let's open the GM Endless Runner. And here on the event graph, let's open it. We have this increase speed. Sorry, increase, yeah, increase speed. We have capped this to the max running speed. And this is actually uh, written incorrectly. So max running speed like that. So it will, it is set to 1000. So how we can fix that is, let's go back to the PP third person character. And here after this, we want to get our game mode ref and we want to set max running speed. And we want to set it to this value like that. So now we can go over the thousand limit that we have set before. Okay, let's compile, save. And now under here on the false, we want to set the debugging, not like that, set the debug speeding to be false, like that. And from here also, we want to get to, from the character movement and we want to set max walk speed. Now we want to set it to be the value 
that we had before. So that's the reason why we saved the debug all speed. Get it and connect to here. So now it will change it back to the full speed basically. Now from here, let's actually move this here, this little bit down. Let's get from here and set max running speed. Now you want to set it back to your original uh, running max running speed. So let's make it 1000. Okay. So now let's compile, save all and test it. Now when we press V, the player will start running a lot faster and click again. He will go back to the normal speed again. So Okay, that is working correctly. The next thing, what I want to do is let's add the key so we can add points or a score. So let's actually copy this node. Let's paste it here. Let's change this to be like, let's click from here and like maybe five. Okay. Because from the five, what we want to do, we want to add 5,000 points. So let's get our game mode ref. And we want to set four. And let's leave some space here. And let's add a reroute here. Select and align. And from here, let's get our score. And let's add to it. So plus. Let's connect it to there. Let's align this better and let's add the value that we want to add. So 5,000, okay? Now we can copy this whole thing and paste it under here. And you can do this how many times you want, but I will just do it two times because I think adding 5,000 or five and maybe adding, let's map this to six and adding a like 50,000 here. That will be enough uh, tools for us because later on if we add something some event that happens after like 100,000 or something like that we can uh, go to that value with this and also if we want to add something that happens after like 500,000 we can go there with this one easier I think these are enough for us but you can obviously copy this how many times you want and now one more let's copy this key thing. Let's paste it here and let's map this to be like maybe M so it's not next to the B so we don't uh, accidentally press that. And here what we want to do we want to just call to that because if we want to basically uh, test some collisions or something with the player ragdolling then we can use this. I don't know if we're gonna need that, but let's just add it just to be sure. So now we have these three different things, basically. Actually four, but these are basically the same. So three. Okay, let's compile, save, and let's test everything. So the speeding works, of course. Uh, when we press five, you can see we had 5,000. When we press six, we had 50,000. And when we press M, we die. Let's Try again if the M works. If we are, for example, jumping, of course it works, and sliding it will work also. So yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one. Bye.